So what I'm going to be putting the finish on today is a charcuterie board that I've got done. It's black walnut. I use some epoxy to fill in the big knots and imperfections. A little bit of Starbond CA glue for the smaller stuff that I didn't want to screw with epoxy on. Um, doing this stabilizes the board. It obviously helps the longevity of it, and it looks pretty cool with all the highlights, and it definitely helps these boards. So the first step in the process is cleaning the board. Again, Rubio Monocoat, the cleaner works great. The point of this step is not to saturate the wood. It's to help pull all the, all the dust and extra stuff off that you can before you finish it. If you get a little oversaturation, it's probably not the end of the world, but it's just gonna take a lot longer for it to dry back out. see it in the video but you see you're pulling all dust see i vacuum these and everything before all this and it's still pulling dust off so that's the point of this another thing with these rubio products just like mineral spirits most anything you use it will combust it can combust if you leave it wadded up and don't let it dry out cut a little piece off about like that you use that on your edges and stuff, you can't get the DA. And then the best you can, just so you're not being wasteful, set the DA on there and cut a square out that'll fit on that DA. That's what I use on all my big flat surfaces. Helps it work it in a little faster too. Now it's time to mix this stuff. It's got a pretty long working life on it. I wanna say it's four to six hours once you mix it. Um, don't bite off more than you can chew. Do small areas at a time. Um, Cause you're gonna apply this stuff, you're gonna let it sit for a few minutes and then you're gonna start buffing it off. And if you do too big of an area or let it sit for too long, it gets gummy and it gets really hard to get off and you kind of lose. That's, that's one of the, the steps that there's not a lot of leeway in. You wanna, you wanna make sure you hit that window correctly. Again, this is three to one. Two, one part accelerator. Stir it up. Try to show you this stuff. They don't have, they don't give a mixing time on it. Use your best judgment. You know, a couple of minutes of stirring, make sure you get the sides and the bottom and anything up top here that's lingering you don't want to you want to make sure this stuff's mixed well but it doesn't really give you a time or anything to go off of as far as mixing a little bit of this stuff goes a long way see i just kind of dabbed the edge of it there i'm going to do all my edges first how you go about doing this or your process it's all up to you but i like doing the edges first and then coming back over with the DA and catching everything I can after the fact. But just take your time and work it in. You don't want to just glaze over it, but you don't have to really scrub hard either. The, like I said, the wood's only going to take what it's going to take. It, it'll let you know when it's done. Pour a little bit on there. Just mix little amounts. Like I said, there's no lap marks with this stuff. So if let's say you do something and you didn't mix enough, don't panic. It's not the end of the world. Finish the process with what you got, unless you can mix some real quick and get it on there. But like I said, you don't want to miss that window of letting this stuff sit on there too long before you start buffing it back off. It will get gummy. It will be a miserable experience to have to deal with. So I've got it all on there now. I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes and then start buffing it off. Once this stuff sets for a little while, it, it kind of loses some of its sheen. It'll dull down a little bit. And that's kind of how I gauge of when it's ready to go. A couple of minutes is all they recommend or all it says it takes. And that's, it pretty much holds true. So once you get to that point, now it's time to take off all the excess. I use these shop rags. They work fine. You can use terry cloths. 
microfibers, whatever you want to use. Just know that whatever you do use is going to be garbage after you're done. So don't go using good rags that you think you're going to reuse. I don't know that you can wash them and clean them up and work. So I just use these blue rags. But start working it. You're going to feel as you're doing this, the areas you've done and buffed off. I keep saying buff, wipe off, whatever you want to refer to it as. You'll start pulling product and it'll start buffing and getting smoother easier. So I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, but I think you can see my handprint. That's the excess that the wood didn't take. So when I say the stuff will only take so much, this is what I mean. So you can put all you want on there, but you're just going to be wasting product and making this process a lot more difficult. As you buff and wipe this stuff off, the sheen will start to come back. It's hard to see in the video with the lighting, but it does start to come back when you start buffing this stuff. Keep going until you get no residue left on these rags. That's when you know you're done. As I'm sure you know, videos and pictures don't usually do this stuff much justice but this has definitely got a lot of cool character in it and I dig it so now that we got this side done obviously we have to flip it over and do the back side I always do my edges first when I do the top side especially with walnut and the end grain it doesn't hurt to hit this stuff twice on each side to help it absorb everything it's going to take whether that really works or not, I don't know. I do it just because I know the end grain sucks everything up a lot faster. 